know, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking already. Um, where's the Supra? Why is the G-Star leaving? And why are we back in the Honda Civic? Well, a numerous amount of things has happened, right? So from the, my brother's leaving the shop, as you guys can know, and uh, things happened in my personal life, and some stuff, I took a break from YouTube, took a break from a lot of things actually, and uh, took some time to try to get myself back together. And uh, I find myself here again. Unfortunately, my camera did break, and now we're doing it on a GoPro. So I don't even know what you're looking at right now. Right now, I'm just uh, guessing how the camera angle is. So uh, please pardon me. It's gonna be about three weeks until it comes back. Nonetheless, um, I feel like I had to hit a really, 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 really hard restart on my life. And I feel like I have to connect with you guys more. I have to get involved in my business more. I have to get back on my things that used to make me happy all the time. I kind of got robbed of that. My idea, my conception, my everything. Uh, just my, my blank got really, really, really clustered. And uh, I don't know how else to put that as. Is uh, I'm still struggling with day-to-day -day battles. I know how I make it seem like on Instagram or stuff like that. It's just um, a lot of personal background things. And if you guys want me to, I'll let you guys know. If not, it's totally fine. Don't care. We're going to move on. Um, in this, our economy is weird, as you guys can see. Um, so when I sold the Supra and I sold it to Claire my Toyota, they gave me an amount of money that was like, wow, for a car that I can leave with bald tires and I just cracked the windshield and it has 25,000 miles, I could get this much for it right now, boost my credit up, no more car payment on that end, and I get a big, nice check back. Why would you not do it, right? So I wanted to really take this back in and take it back to life and uh, take it back to my roots. As you guys know, as a Honda boy, as a Honda guy, I'm just kind of rambling on. I haven't done this YouTube stuff in a minute, okay? I have not done this YouTube stuff in a minute, so I'm gonna get used to it and uh, kind of welcome you guys to our EM1. So um, I'm pretty excited. A lot of big plans to come with this car and a lot of some other stuff that I have uh, planned for you guys. Uh, getting ready for the cars and coffees to throw and start to host more meets. I have some pretty exciting car meet ideas that I want to bring to you guys that are going to be here at the shop. So I got a list of things that I want to accomplish for 2022. I've been trying to um, stay on them with my goals and get back out there and um, finding myself and being who I am, you know, getting creative, doing the hair thing, not really caring about people's opinion and just kind of living my life the way I kind of want to. And uh, that's what I want you guys to do is kind of encourage you guys to uh, kind of follow that too as well. So you guys have fun putting these cars together and uh, who doesn't love a Honda Civic? So even one of my favorite car, boom, I had to get it. So with this one, I don't know which route I'm gonna take it yet, but I'm not really gonna worry about making it fast. I'm gonna kind of take life slow and uh, we're gonna build this car together. You guys are gonna watch it from scratch. Um, we got Spokecom coming up. We got car shows coming up that I really wanna be involved in. I wanna become a, a YouTuber. I wanna become all that stuff that you guys can see and be excited about it. I was on a really, really good pace when I built the Evo, my S2000 and so much more. And uh, I really lost that. I really, really, really lost that. Uh, my ambition, my self-motivation, uh, I let myself go. Uh, I got really chubby. I'm fucking fat, bro. Like, I, I beat myself up all the time about my looks, about facially, about all types of stuff. But what I'm going to do now is to kind of turn that energy around and uh, show you guys that we can, we can, we can do it together. And whatever, whatever you're going through, we can switch that scenario to a winning scenario. Um, life hasn't always been the easiest. Uh, the shop is struggling. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to fun. I don't need to lie. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, all it means is that I need to put my head back in the game because I feel like I lost myself and I didn't, and I'm not doing what I'm and being who I am and uh, being part of the person that made OMO come up from what it was to what it is now. So um, I need to really work on that and that's what I'm gonna key in on. And so getting rid of the Super and the GTR and bringing myself back to my roots and really humbling myself is what I'm really going through right now. And uh, I'm very blessed, I'm very glad, I'm very thankful for all the memories between those two cars from all the pictures and everybody I worked with to get those cars um, to make all the videos and stuff. So I'm very happy, I'm gonna frame them, hang them up in my room and at least that's part of my life that I accomplished. And uh, uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. So we're just hitting a nice little restart and it's okay to do that in life. We're hitting the restart button. I feel like I did a full circle and uh, I'm back to a Honda and it's crazy because like a blink of an eye, you just realize it's like, bro, four years just passed and we're a fifth year, 60 and now it's crazy how fast time is flying. Um, I'm almost 30 years old now and so I'm like thinking realistically, I gotta get out of my apartment, I gotta buy a house, I need to work on my finances, I gotta think smarter, I can't think like a kid anymore. I gotta just be thinking, you know, of ways that I can do and all at the same time you're supposed to do it happy so you know a Honda's always made me happy who doesn't like to roll down the windows and that's their AC you know <laughs> it's just suffering so um, uh, there's some van issues there's some couple issues I got to deal with with this car already that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that we're gonna start off from this but this video I just wanted to basically catch you guys up with what 
has kind of been going on behind the scenes of everything else. So I hope to God that I can stay disciplined. I hope to God that I can keep the focus and, and, and really vibe with you guys and bring you guys back into my life and uh, grab you guys' attention and get everybody back over here, you know, and uh, create that excitement. So I got a list of parts already for this thing. And of course, my next dream car, if I could accomplish one after I do sell the GTR, uh, would be an Acura NSX if I could do uh, and pull a mystery car off, that would be cool. But I do have a secondary car in mind that I do want to get at the same time that I'm building the EM1. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. This channel is not over. Um, I'm just doing my best to bring you guys back, bring you guys back. And uh, we hit the factory reset button, it's okay and uh, we're gonna be restarting. So I hope you guys are excited as I am. I'm excited, I'm very amped up, I'm very blessed for, like I said, for what I had and uh, to get all those scenarios, to get that much money back for my Supra and get all this and all this and get them worked out and uh, that's what we're gonna kinda do, you know? So that's what we're doing right now. Welcome to the Project EM1 and I'm gonna do my best to get back on you guys. So uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, OMO Motorsports, make sure you guys go ahead and follow every single one of those and uh, I'm gonna do my best to edit these videos to be cool, be exciting, and uh, stay tuned for the trailers, have the clothing brand, I have to have ideas, but stay tuned more importantly for the car mates that I wanna host and that I'm coming back for. Sorry guys, this weird angle, I don't even know how I look right now, but I'm just gonna wing it and I don't even care. Um, we're gonna lose weight together too, Bansa, it's all the modelos, and uh, we're gonna get back together. So I'm happy, I'm excited, welcome back to YouTube, and uh, make sure you guys join the gaming channel, I'm sure you guys can. <laughs> pop through my channel and see a bunch of gaming stuff so i try to stream i try to do it all i don't know you know where well, i'm lost i'm confused like the next person is and i'm trying to do the right thing here so um, with that being said hopefully you guys hit the like the share the follow button i'll show you guys a brief overview of uh, driving the civic and some other stuff like that but mainly i'm gonna try to do every other day vlogs or maybe daily vlogs if we do something to the civic um and kind of gross it out like that too so uh hopefully this was informative and hopefully you enjoyed watching this video clip real quick and uh good to see you guys back so I just want to give you guys a quick tour of how it looks right now and kind of what we're doing in this scenario. I have legit not touched anything at all. I have to fix the fan issue. The fan is not turning on, so it just sits there and gets really hot. Um, fix that up. It should be pretty easy. Figure a fuse or something. I still got to chase the battery tie down fix it on that. Uh, B16 has headers, you know, no AC, of course, and no power steering. So that's always a lot of fun. A little shorter radiator intake i mean what do you expect you know i don't know what type of suspensions on it i haven't even looked under there but i mean it rides pretty good uh it drives really clean so all the gears work nice short shifter to go with it nice nrg broken steering wheel to add some character you know so we'll go ahead and replace that oh but the cool part is look at check this out the cool part is ready 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 oh sheesh it does ding uh interior is pretty clean uh, i am gonna put these seats up for sale so anybody watching this video uh if you're interested Seats gotta go. Um, steering wheel setup's gonna get taken off too as well too. So um, just a quick release and the steering wheel. I don't know what you can do with the steering wheel, but I mean, if you want to buy a quick release, it's on you, you know? Um, we can check that. Um, seats for sale. Wheels, I have an idea of kind of what I want to do with them. They'll be for sale soon. They're relatively clean with no curb rash, hardly any. Oh, and also, as you're watching this, my Supra wheels are for sale. I know they're really, really dusty. The Supra was dirty when I sold it. Um, they're really dusty. Only one of them has minor curb rash. And uh, if you guys are interested, or tell your buddies, your Supra buddies, to help me get them sold. So, Welcome, Project EM1. I'm running out of breath. I need to go to the gym. I'm fat. I'm out. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, this is our first welcoming back video. And for anybody that doesn't know, we're located in Montclair, California, open every single day except for Sunday from 9 to 7. Website link is in all of our social media pages. We sell bucket seats, steering wheel setups, intakes, air suspension, coilovers, lowering springs, muffler deletes, capback systems, camera kits, alignment tools, subframes, control arms, under braces, I mean, you name it. Cool knickknack stuff, lanyards, and so much more. If you guys haven't followed us on the socials, look up OMO underscore motorsports on anything, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, and you can find us. You can visit the store the store is open to the public we're right here to show you guys and bring you guys what we can um uh, we strive here six days a week from nine to seven some other cool stuff some uh, sequential tail lights we also get you headlights uh wheels and tire packages as well as long as you buy wheels and tires that are 17 inch up and higher we'll free give you free mountain balance and free steel locking lug nuts so here's the outer part we're on the main strip on holt and central's right over there so uh, also gtr is for sale if anybody's interested gtr is for sale and the wheels on it for sale taking the wheels off of that soon um so if anybody's interested in those uh, here is the front banner in case you guys know what to look for and uh that is a brief welcoming back coming back to youtube video we'll see where we go in a couple of months to leave from now and uh, i'm excited so we'll see you guys here make sure you guys hit the subscribe button